Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a bright and good morning, and I just want to welcome everyone into the 40-day worship challenge. We're on day number 25. Can you believe that? We're already through 25 days. Good morning, Gilda. Nice to see you coming on and the others that will come on. This is uh, just a time of encouragement, time to be together. I love to say our shields are linked, and I do have my mug this morning. We're stronger together, and we are. Uh, two people are better than one, the Bible says, that we can help each other succeed. And, and that's my heartbeat, is to see others succeed, to see you succeeding. One, in your relationship with the Lord, and two, in everything in life. And I know there's a lot of pressure that comes against us, a lot of resistance. And yet we're uh, fully equipped, we're fully able to move into the day by the power of the Holy Spirit. And as we meet with the Lord in the first 15 minutes, He just pours in His love as we surrender our will over to His will and give Him the day and open up our, give Him our lives really, and then open up our heart to, to what He has for that day and and know that he's right there, that he never leaves us or forsakes us, that he's so close. And the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us and releases power, love, and a sound mind. And uh, we need that. We need everything that God has. And we want to make the exchange every morning. Our weakness for his strength, our uh, confusion for his clarity, our uh, troubles for his answers. And we can do that every morning. And so I'm so excited we're together. We're talking about simple prayers that we can start our day with and pray all day long. And that's so exciting, these prayers. These prayers will transform our relationship with God and change literally the course of our day. It's been changing my day. And if I can just remember to pray them, and, and the Lord reminds me to do that. And when I do, something amazing happens. And today, our fourth simple prayer is, Jesus, thank you. Just having a heart of gratitude and thanksgiving. The foundational scripture for thankfulness or being thankful is found in 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you who belong to Jesus Christ. I think, how clear is that passage where it tells us to be thankful in all, capital A-L-L, -L, all circumstances. Wow, that is something powerful right there as we look at that, that we can be thankful in all circumstances, no matter what we face. And we know we're going to face challenging things, but a key is thankfulness to releasing the will and the purpose of God in our life. And I wanted to say here just some comments about thankfulness, and we've talked about this before, but thankfulness is a choice. It's something we get to decide. So that's why it's so critical we start in the morning with Jesus, thank you, just thank you, just thanking him is so powerful. Wake up with that on your on on your heart and in your mouth and through your heart to him. Jesus, thank you. Just start repeating that from the moment you get up as you're even as your feet hit the floor and you're maybe staggering a little cuz you're tired. Jesus, thank you. I woke up this morning with this song linger just going through my mind. And I I sometimes wake up with anxiety and panic and some kind of of, uh, of uh, weird thoughts. Today, it was a song that was repeating in my mind that I've been listening to. And I was so thankful when it just began to play inside of me instead of some of this other uh, craziness that goes on. The second thing is we can give thanks in everything we go through in life. There's nothing excluded. Every We can give thanks for everything we go through in life. The next thing here is thankfulness defeats comparison and complaining. It just defeats it. It just cuts it right off. If it was going to try to get a foothold in that day, thankfulness just cuts that down. 
How many know that we can compare ourselves? We can, I don't know. It's just that those are just, uh, 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 those are just traps of the enemy. Thankfulness is the power we have to break that assignment of comparison and complaining. And so when we do compare and when we do complain, break that assignment with Jesus, thank you. Not going there. Jesus, thank you. Not going there. Jesus, thank you. Not going there. It also defeats resentment and bitterness because those are also traps of the enemy. And we can just break that assignment with Jesus, thank you. Thank you for that situation. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I need your grace today. Thank you that I'm going through it. I know I'll grow through it. Yes, they hurt me. Thank you. I forgive them. Just, just let these things begin to roll right off your lips and just on to the Lord and just let thankfulness be a weapon in your hand. Thankfulness defeats the woe is me in me. <laughs> and believe me, I can go there. So thankfulness defeats that woe in me, that Eeyore mentality, that Winnie the Pooh character that was always depressed. We don't want to be depressed. Thankfulness is a medicine to us. Thankfulness is a gift to us. Thankfulness is the will of God for us. Thankfulness is going to defeat the enemy today. Thankfulness builds a grateful heart. Just like lumber builds a house, the choice to be thankful is the lumber, the material that builds a grateful heart. I was thinking about uh, how thankfulness blesses God and Oh, I almost come to tears there. Just to me. I could feel the emotion. But I was thinking about the ten lepers, and 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 in in Luke seventeen eleven it says, and Jesus continued towards Jerusalem. He reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered a village, there ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out, "Jesus, Master, have mercy on us." He looked to them and said, go show yourself to the priests. They were already in the process of being healed. As they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, could you imagine? I think I'm emotional because I'm kind of in that place. They've been rejected. They've been all these things scourge of society they just and he says go show yourself to the priests and he didn't even say you're healed he just said go show yourself and at that moment as they were going to do that they were healed all of them and then one of them noticed the fact that he was healed i wonder what went through him at that moment and he was healed and he came back to jesus now think of this shouting. He came back shouting. Praise God. He fell to, and, and then it says, he fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, didn't I heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Wow. This is such a powerful story of, of thanking the Lord, just giving thanks and, and, and just honoring the Lord. And thankfulness releases joy. This is so powerful what it does inside of us. Thankfulness, gratitude releases a neurotransmitter, dopamine and serotonin which actually makes us feel happy. This, this is physiological, and I, I, I want to speak of that as joy, but, but it says here, it's a, it's a little scientific thing, but gratitude and neurotransmitters. I think I read this one time before, but I just love this simple prayer. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. When we express gratitude and receive the same, our brain releases dopamine and serotonin, the two crucial neurotransmitters responsible for our emotions, and they make us feel good. 
This is health to our bones. This is, this is something that God is wanting us to do. He knows as we release thanksgiving to him that there's a process of health and wholeness that's going on inside. They enhance our mood immediately, making us feel happy from the inside. It releases joy into our hearts. Now, I want to talk more about this, but I just noticed our time, like always, is fleeting. I'll continue on thankfulness. Jesus, thank you. This, is, this isn't just the knowledge that we need to thank him. This is actually us practicing thankfulness, starting in the morning and throughout our entire day. And all these benefits that we have just talked about are going to be released into our soul, our heart, our mind, will, and emotions, and into our physical body. And it's actually releasing health to our bones, health to us physi physically. And so I want to read, we're on day number uh, 20. Isn't that exciting what we're learning about these simple prayers? Jesus, I surrender my will to your will. Jesus, I trust you. And, and, and all that that, that in, in, entails and all that that brings to us. And then today, Jesus, I trust you. And this is so, so exciting. Oh, yesterday's, Jesus, I need your help. All these simple prayers are going to radically transform our life from the inside out, bring us, bringing us into an intimacy with God that's going to uh, propel us into our destiny with Him. And it's, it's just so powerful. I mean, we've only talked about four simple prayers, and those four prayers, you armed with those four prayers— will transform your morning and transform your day in ways we could never imagine. So let's just practice them. This is so, so powerful. All we have to do is do them, and they take very little energy, but they bring about very, very deep changes in our heart. Let me read day 25, Psalm 66, 1 through 4. Shout joyfully, shout joyful praise to God like that leper, all the earth. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Your enemies cringe before your mighty power. Everything on earth will worship you. They will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious songs. Wow, I'm just going to pray. We're going to have an amazing day in him. Uh, and it's exciting. Lord, I thank you for each one listening. Bless them, bless them, bless them today. Father, let your Holy Spirit ignite their inner man. Father, release a flow of, of, of your presence into their heart. Let gratitude and thankfulness be released like a fountain today. And Lord, I pray blessing. If anyone's discouraged, I know today this prayer, Jesus, thank you will break that assignment of the enemy in every way. Lord, I just thank you for each one. We link shields all across uh, just the earth, really. This can go everywhere. We link shields together because we're stronger together. Bless each one listening now and later. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I just uh, enjoy your time with the Lord. Just enjoy it. This is just a primer to your time alone with him. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you again tomorrow on day number 26. Bless you.